this keynote, this speech is mobile games for Asian women. I'm, I'm wondering what is um, Ye Huang will talk about. Let's welcome Vice President of Party Games, Ye Huang. Yes, hope, hope I pronounced your name right. Sorry. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. This is yours. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> my name is Yop, and I'm from Party Games. I'm a little bit nervous because this is my first time giving a speech in English. So I beg your understanding uh, if I use uh, misused English because I'm not a native speaker, and including this cunning paper. So today I'm going to give you a short speech about uh, female games. This is a flow of my keynote. I hope I can share my insight with you guys. You may wonder who is that guy talking about females. Yeah, actually I'm not familiar with ladies. but. Maybe you don't know about me and even my company at all, so I will, I will introduce to you about my company first. Party Games is the mobile game company developing and publishing social network games like I Love Coffee. Do you know I Love Coffee? Yeah, thank you. I dare to say we are the most famous mobile game company among Women in Korea. 2011 is the year Party Games was founded. But it is the same year Zynga was listed on Nasdaq. As you all know, Zynga recorded a huge success based on the distribution power of Facebook. We expected that their story of success would happen in Asia. So we tried, and the result was, yeah. Thanks to the great performance of our products and our partners, such as Kakao and Line. We listed our stock on Korean stock market last year. So let me introduce our product. Four years passed since I Love Coffee launched. It has been published on 11 platforms, both web and mobile. Uh, look at the numbers below. It means 20 million users registered the game, 30 billion cup of coffee was sold in game, and 10 trillion uh, cof uh, roasted coffee beans. Yes, 10 trillion. It is so much number, right? After the huge success of I Love Coffee, we constantly launched mobile games for females in Korea, such as I Love Pasta and Alice of Forest. I Love Pasta is the sequel of I Love Coffee, story of the Italian restaurant. And about Alice, it is a little bit different with I Love series, but it has more core game features like RPGs. But it is also for females, and of course, those two titles are famous in Korean women, for Korean women. Okay, for now, let me tell you about Zynga some more. I think one of great heritage that Zynga left us is that they exhumed potential gamers, which means that they made non-gamers to play the game. And in our case, we focused on females all, um, among all potential gamers. Because females, those who share the half of the world. We think one of the big chances comes with mobile is 
the growth of female gamers. Recently, I found an interesting article by Flurry. According to this re article, women, female gamers over 30% increase result than male gamers on time, money, and loyalty. In our case, when we did survey to our users on 2012, the ratio of female was higher than men. About 63% was females in, on December, I'm sorry, December uh, 2012. But this ratio becomes much higher after two years, after two years and now it is over 80% of females. It means that males left our game, females still staying there. So they are proving their loyalty with 40% of D7 retention. How about, how about in Asia? We launched coffee in global with Line. As you can see, coffee hits in Asia. Uh, I think you cannot read the text below. So. Top seven countries are all from Asia. The top was Taiwan and then Japan, Thailand and so on. Maybe it's because Line is popular in these countries. Anyway, when we check the data of it, it is very similar with Korean version. So in conclusion, we were able to assume that women in Asia is valuable target for us. Okay. Next, I will share you our strategies on this market. It could be helpful to you. Have you ever seen this movie before? <laughs> you should watch it if you have interested in females because the title of it, What Women Want. The most important thing when we start a new project is to find out what they really want or what they want in real life. The reason we made coffee management game was very simple because we wanted to help females realize their dream with our games. At this time in Korea, cafes had sprouted up everywhere, literally everywhere. Starting up a cafe was social trend at the time, I think. For Korean women, Cafe is not just a place to drink a cup of coffee, but the place to spend their leisure time. And most of them dreams managing cafe of their own. So, this in-game feature is called the barista test. If players want to sell new menu of coffee, they should pass this kind of test in game. This feature was welcomed by many users because it was very similar with real life. They could feel like being a real barista. Yes, another movie. It is also a famous one named Love Actually. I'm sure that most of women felt something when this scene a man proposing to woman. I believe selling games to women is like proposing to them. Usually, user recognition of mobile game is focused on channel management and user targeting. Basically, I agree with it. But I don't think it is enough to target to our target because they are non-gaming females. So we have to approach to our target with more emotional messages. Please look at the left side. This guy's name is Kim Woo-bin, a famous Korean actor. We decided to collaborate with him, not hire him as a photo model. So we put virtual cafe run by himself in game and let, and let users can visit his cafe in game. So they, they could interact with him, such as leaving messages or sending gifts like they did with their friends. So it makes their loyalty higher. By this way, we could get not only the quantity of users, but also the quality of our whole users. 
And please look at the right side of this, this slide. It is kind of offline promotion, free coffee giveaway. There was a TV drama called Coffee Prince, and it took Korea women's hearts so deeply and for a long time. So we tried to make it happen in real world by nice looking models handed out a free coffee. They could feel like they are in the TV drama with this event. Like this, we believe the matter is how we spread the message, not the message itself. Yeah, this is another successful case with collaborating with Cafe Bene. Cafe Bene is a famous cafe franchise in Korea. Especially they are famous with their large numbers of branches and it has branches also in this city, Ho Chi Minh. By the way, at this time, it had over 800 branches in Korea and we put our game posters and movie clips, every single branch of it. So in result, we got 52K average downloads for 15 days before this event and then it increased to 64K average download during this event period. Okay, now we decided what to say and how to say. So it's time to find the right place to propose to her. We should find the <coughs> hottest place and preoccupy it before someone takes it. When we launched the mobile version of Coffee, Kakao just launched their game platform service named Kakao Game Center. But most of Korean company had doubts about it because there was still local couriers, I mean, uh, yes, telephone providers in Korea. There, there are still strong, powerful platforms at the moment. So we decided to launch it both on Kakao platform and local platform. The result was, as you can see below, I want to tell you the importance of social platform and the timing. Do you remember what I said with Singa and Facebook? I told you Singa's success is based on the distribution power of Facebook. And I will put one more thing. They found it faster than everyone. Today's Kakao's game platform Get, getting weaker and weaker because there are so many cacao games in Korea. So time to market is very important strategy. We will keep trying to grab women's minds like we did before and let me show you our future plan. Coffee and pasta and so what's next? The third title of I Love franchise will be Island, Isle of Island. We already know the island of Southeast Asia is the most hottest place for vacation. Can you imagine the game of those beautiful islands? I really hope I can show you soon. And I think it's the most important point because I'm in Vietnam now. I remember the day when, when my first visit in Vietnam. I was so impressed because the mobile market of Vietnam had much more potential than I expected. When I found Zalo, it feels like it's the same feeling when I saw Kakao Talk at the first time in Korea. So I thought maybe it is the best place to propose to Vietnamese ladies. Until now, we have tried to build a strong network with social platforms such as Line and Kakao. I believe that there will be so many possibilities and potential partners in Southeast Asia. I wish we can introduce our products to Asian women. Okay, I'm sorry I, I pushed it too quickly. This comic is Dinner Off by Pablo Stanley. Have you ever seen this? Uh, the story of this cartoon is the woman is addicted to SNS and when she Dating, date out with her boyfriend or maybe her husband, she never let her phone down. So, the funniest part of this cartoon is that when they came back to house, the man tries to play Xbox 
women blames him and even tweet him. So look at his face, how poor is he? What do you think about it? When I saw this cartoon, I thought, what if the woman likes to play mobile game on social platform? I want to say it, possibilities. Thank you for listening and thank you for understanding my bad English. Yeah, thank you very much. If you have any questions for me, I'm not, I'm not familiar with Q&A, so please send me an email. Thank you very much. Your English is just great. No worries. Thank you. Yeah.